Hi everyone and welcome to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely. Today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite things. It's actually my grandmother's recipe. It is a mango chutney. It's a little bit spicy, but it's the perfect thing to do when you have tons of extra mango left over in summer. You can put it with like blackened fish. Or it's just so good. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I have a very ripe mango. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut it. So mangoes are kind of a little bit thinner this way and you know they go a certain way. So the seed inside is kind of long and really thin. So I'm gonna go, is I'm gonna go right down the middle here, and then you're gonna feel, feel the seed, you're gonna run into it. So what I'm gonna do is just slightly turn my knife and just kind of follow the seed all the way down to the very bottom, just like this. And then I'm gonna go up there again, and I can feel the seed. And I'm gonna follow that around, just like that. And then, I'm gonna go down the middle here. And I'm gonna follow that seed all the way down. Perfect. And then do the same with this side. All, all the way down. You wanna make sure you don't leave any of that meat. All right, perfect. So now, what I like to do is just take the slices here, just make long, thin strips, just like this. Perfect. So then, with my knife, what I'm gonna do is take it very carefully and just kind of run it along the bottom here. Just like this, with a nice sharp knife. Kind of cutting off just the skin here because we don't want to lose any of the flesh. Look at that, perfect. And give it a nice rough chop here. All right, so I'm gonna make a huge batch of this. So I'm doing nine cups of mango and I'm gonna show you what, I, what to do with all that delicious mango. So over here, I have a very large pot, and in here I'm gonna do one and a half cups of, of apple cider vinegar, right in there. I'm also gonna do two cloves of garlic that I minced up. I'm going to do a third of a cup of some ginger, and then I have three jalapenos that I just diced up in there. And I left some of the seeds in and some out, maybe like one, one has the seeds in and then two don't. I just want the flavor. And then I'm also gonna do three and three quarters of a cup of just granulated sugar. So what I'm gonna do is kind of bring this up to a simmer and let it cook for about five minutes or so before before adding my mango and golden raisins in there. All right, so I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna give it a big stir. All right, so we're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. All right, so this is looking perfect and you should smell how good it smells. So very carefully, I'm gonna add our mango right in here. Just like this. And what we're gonna do we are going to let it cook on about medium, medium low heat for about 30 minutes. You want all those juices to come out. And there we go. I don't want to splash all of me. And I'm also going to add one cup of golden raisins in here. So we're going to stir it up and let everything come together. Perfect. So look how cute these are. I put them in these little individual jars. I'm just canning it. So I have some extra here. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I love this on like blackened uh, fish. You could do it with uh, any kind of chicken. You can put it over like some sour, or not sour cream, cream cheese with crackers for an appetizer. It's so good. You have to try this. Mmm. It tastes like my childhood. You have to try this. And there you have my very delicious mango chutney. I hope you like it.